Jira Expressions is a domain-specific language designed by Atlassian that allows users to write custom conditions that evaluate to true. Script Runner for Jira Cloud uses this language for transition customizations such as validators, conditions, and script listener conditions. It's a JavaScript-based language that evaluates for a true value. Administrators use Jira expressions to customize validators and conditions by reading Jira information quickly. While it isn't necessary to learn everything about the language, there are a few key elements that will help build a foundation for many different users. To better understand how to use Jira expressions, let's start by learning the language's basic syntax. This is a common line of code that can be used as a workflow validator to check that one or more comments are left on an issue before transitioning it to the next status. The line of code can be broken into different parts. The first variable determines the context in which the expression is evaluated. For this example, the variable is issue, which means that the query checks the issue for a true value. Next is the second variable, or the expression type. This indicates which object to run the code against. In this example, the type is comments, which means that the query checks the comments property. When combined, the first two parts of this code tell us that the query is checking the comments property within the issues. Since this query checks that there is at least one or more comments on an issue, the next part of the code focuses on that specific evaluation by specifying what property to check against the field. For this example, length checks the number of comments. The last part of the code is a standard mathematical operator that specifies the number of comments to check. In this case, the expression indicates greater than zero. So the query checks for any number of comments greater than zero. When read together, the code verifies there are greater than zero comments on an issue. Expressions can also be chained together for more in-depth conditions. For example, if you need to ensure that there is at least one comment on an issue and that only users from a specific group can transition the issue, then these expressions can be chained together using standard Boolean operators. For AND, use two ampersands, and for OR, use two vertical lines. For a more in-depth look at the possible Boolean operators or to see which variables are available, please visit the Atlassian documentation on Jira expressions. Let's say that Violet from Great Adventure needs to use a Jira expression that checks whether an issue contains subtasks. She first chooses the variable, issue. Then she uses the subtask property. Much like the comments example used earlier, Violet uses the length expression of greater than zero. When this script is executed, it will check to see if there are one or more subtasks on an issue. Now let's say that Violet also needs to restrict transition permissions so that only HR managers can transition issues to a rejected status. To do this, she starts with the user variable. She specifies the groups property and uses includes to indicate that the group should be checked. Then Violet specifies which group to check for by using parentheses and single quotations. For this example, the group name is HR management. When the query runs, it will check that the designated user is a part of the HR management user group. Because Jira Expressions is a customized language from Atlassian, we recommend referring to their developer documentation for in-depth information. Here you'll find information on available context variables and associated properties. To use the document effectively, navigate to the section on context variables. Here you'll see a list of available context variables along with an indication of what can be checked when the code is executed. To view the variable type, click on the variable name link. This takes you to a list of expression types available for that particular variable. Each variable type consists of properties which can be referenced and grouped. Groups such as string, number or map are listed on the documentation next to each variable type. Clicking the link of the group name takes you to its information. That information shows the available properties or explains how to call the specified type. For example, Violet needs to create an expression that checks for a specific user ID before an issue can be transitioned. She isn't sure how to write this expression, so she refers to the Atlassian documentation to find the necessary elements of her expression. 
she chooses the issue context variable. On the property type page, she uses ID and then sees that it is a number expression. So she adds an equal sign to her code and then the numerical ID number for the specific user. With these references, you can build simple and complex expressions in Jira.